Calf raises are a nice simple exercise to activate our calf muscle on the back of our lower leg. So start position is feet, about shoulder width position. You're going to focus on pushing through your big toe on the ball of your foot here. So in around these areas, rather than the weight shifting out onto your little toes. So from here, stand nice and straight, push up through the big toe on the ball of the foot, keep nice and sturdy and back down. From the side, feet shoulder width, you're going to push up, squeeze, back down, up, and back down. So small little squeeze at the top to really engage the muscle and it's a nice happy. Your front, aside and an over raise. Start position here is hands out in front. We're gonna raise them up using our front delts, pull them out to the side and bring them up overhead. From here, you're gonna bring them back down, out and up. So this is a really good way to work our upper shoulder area and get nice activation on the upper body. Spider-Man to Windmill is a great dynamic warm-up exercise. We use that to get some leg and upper body uh, warm-up done to get the blood flowing in the total body. Start position, push-up position, foot comes up outside your hand, you're going to sink your hips towards the ground, so sink them down. The same hand as the foot, rotates up towards the roof when you follow with your eyes. After that, bring the foot back, alternate onto the opposite side, sink the hips. Same hand again, rotate the spine and repeat. And that's your spider. A cook squat is a really good way to warm up our lower body uh, with both engaging our quads and our hamstrings in the movement. So your starting position is you're gonna bring your hands down under your toes or at your ankles if your mobility limits you. So grab your toes, you're gonna to sit right down and pull your chest nice and high, and then you're gonna keep your hands there and you're gonna stand and extend your legs fully. So that'll hit your hamstrings. So sit down, pull up your chest. So this is gonna engage our quads and then back up and we hit our hamstrings there. So working through that movement up and down for the prescribed time. Open jacks are one of our more common cardiovascular exercises. This is really designed to get the heart rate up and going in a nice simple movement pattern, working both the upper and lower body. Our starting position, feet together, hands down by the side. From here, jump out and hands up and then back in. That's your movement. So you can go in a slow movement just to keep moving or you can work jumping jacks really fast if you want as well. So that's the jumping jack. A tempo squat is a squat that's done with a certain amount of time on the eccentric phase, the hole at the bottom and the timing on the concentric phase on the way up. So we're starting off with our feet outside, our hips in a normal squat position. From here, we're gonna squat down for two seconds for this one. So it's one Mississippi, two Mississippi. Hold it at the bottom for one Mississippi and then drive up one Mississippi. So in motion, we've got one Mississippi, two Mississippi, one Mississippi, one Mississippi. And that's your tempo on these ones. So two seconds down, one second hold at the bottom, one second drive up. And that's the tempo squat. Push-ups are an upper body compound movement, meaning we're gonna incorporate more than one muscle group in the um, exercise. So we're gonna work our chest and our triceps in a push-up mostly. So we're engaging all of our upper body push muscles to complete the movement. I'll demonstrate from the side. So starting off on the ground, our full push-up form is where our hands are gonna be just under our outside of our shoulders. Keep them underneath the shoulder, feet together. From here, you're gonna unlock your elbow. You're gonna fold forward and down and push back up. Try not to push back in the movement and make sure you push up driving from the elbow down through the heel of the hand. So again, forward, down, and up. To regress the movement, we start off in this position, pop the knees to the ground, and from here, you fold forward and down, and push up. Again, making sure we drive up, and we don't drive back in the movement. That would be poor form. And then to make it a, another regression on the movement, if you struggle with doing push-ups in either full body or knee position, you can do an eccentric push-up. So from here, unlock the elbows and fold forward, down, 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 as slow as possible. Release the tension and then get back up and repeat that and lower yourself under tension and that will work the triceps and the chest in the movement. Twists are a common alternate and core exercise. They're great for getting some work in on our obliques um, and our lower core. So start position sitting on our bum. We're going to keep our feet off the ground if you can. A regression will be to pop your feet to the ground to take some weight off. So feet are up, hands together. From here, you're going to twist your core to the side and back to the other side. Twist, twist, 
focus on twisting from the hip and the core rather than just the hands. If your hands are only moving, we're doing it wrong. So up, twist the core, twist the core, feet down if you need, twist the core, just keep this little hinge back from the hip to add weight. Um, and that's your Russian twist. Hollow hold is a lower abdominal isometric hold. And we're going to complete this on our backs. So we're starting off from the ground, like right down. From here, you're going to pull your knees to your chest. This means our lower back is on the ground. A lot of people might feel that their back arches during this, and that's our front core embracing. We really want to rotate our hip towards our belly button, and that keeps our lower back on the ground. So start with your knees to your chest, means you're in the right position with your back. From here, you want to hold that tension, push right out, and you're going to hold this position for as long as specified. Keep your toes flexed back, which engages our hip flexor, and helps hold the tension in the best way possible. So about six inches off the ground, hold the position for as long as you can, and then reset and go again if you need to take a break. And that's a hollow hold. Full burpees are a total body plyometric exercise, so really get the heart and lungs working here and you're working a bit of everything. Starting position is feet outside the hips. We're gonna bring our hands to the ground first, feet back together, let yourself to the ground and lift the hands so we know that your weight is off the ground. Put your hands back in, dig your toes in at the back, jump, Clap overhead, and that's a full burpee. So from the side, feet outside, you're going to bring the hands down, feet back, lift the hands, jump, and clap. So a nice quick one, you'll be down, feet back, lift the hands, jump and clap. And that's a full burpee. Drops are a nice lower body plyometric exercise, so they're explosive in their nature. And we want to work nice and quick through these and really get that spring in our lower body. So feet start together. From here, you're going to jump out and sit down and spring up off the toe, back in and out. So from the side, start with your feet together, jump out, sit down, spring back up and down. And that's your squat drop. Work nice and quick to really get the heart and the lungs work. Oblique climbers are a dynamic core exercise. We're going to really work the obliques um, across our core area um, throughout the movement. So we're going to start off in our hand plank position. So hands are right under the shoulders. From here, like a mountain climber, except you want to bring your knee across to your opposite elbow to really pull across on the core. So you can work these slow or fast, depending on the exercise type. If you want more of a resistance and to really feel it, you go slow, keep a nice slow tempo. If you want to get the heart and lungs working, really feel that burn, you can go nice and fast and all the inclines. So from the side, push up position, knee across towards your opposite elbow. There's no right or wrong, get as close as you can, and then you can work really fast, depending on the exercise goal. And that's an oblique climb. Jacks are one of our more common cardiovascular exercises. This is really designed to get the heart rate up and going in a nice simple moving pattern, working both the upper and lower body. Our starting position, feet together, hands down by the side. From here, jump out and hands up and then back in. That's your movement. So you can go in a slow movement just to keep moving, or you can work jumping jacks really fast if you want as well. So that's the jumping jack.